but yeah. it's more that just i think i was just hyper aware uh that you know because i would sit down and think about like in bed that uh you know although i'm alive and everything is good right now i know for a fact that there will be a last night of my life that there will be i will be old you know hopefully god willing i'll be old and one of these days will be the last you know there will it won't continue forever and then it's like what happens after and that would just give me super anxiety paranoia i would be afraid of everything actually my my daily living life you know if i went to the movie or something i would scan for exits just in case like a shooter would come and i was that paranoid um and i would just you know i would be afraid of everything sort of like you know if the car is going to run me over over here like if i cross the street you know so it's like the 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 death anxiety actually really really affected me like it actually kind of tortured me um and I guess God took pity on me and actually I was, I was saved. And I, I, I was, uh, you know, I, after my, my salvation, I have not worried about death at all. Like I have complete contentment. I'm in his rest and I don't care for death. I don't even think death. I mean, I know death is not real. It's not a, it's a lie to me. Truth. The, uh, Jesus, well, yeah. the, the yeah, way, the truth and the life, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that is confirmed. That's what Jesus says. Yeah, that you you and will I, and I think, you will live forever. I think that's one of the things also that people. Uh, I, it's maybe it's it's like a an issue of, it's like a propaganda issue or something that but but people really invest in the notion that death is real. You know that that what there's life and there's death, and death is coming. But right. after my salvation, death is not real. You know, I've come to the realization it's not even a real, it's a, it's a lie of the devil, basically. You know, eternal life is what's real. It's what's the truth. Yeah, exactly. It just eternity it, it is exactly uh, the reality that the devil is trying to rob from you or even, you know, yeah. he's, he's trying to tell you uh, reality isn't real. And, you know, exactly. lack of a better term. It's not, it's not this matrix of, oh, taking away your freedom. It literally is something that the devil no, is. No, it literally is. If you look at the yeah. word matrix, which is in the Bible, uh, you know, matrix, <laughs> what, is, what is the actual definition, the etymology of the word matrix? It comes from the Latin word for the mother's womb. You know, so it's mm -hmm. like, you know, what is the matrix? Is that we are in this, we are in this womb, basically, you know, and we're waiting for our birth, our new birth, you know, and that's that's reference mm -hmm. even right here in Romans that I'm looking at Romans mm -hmm. eight, where it talks about the, the birth pangs, the birth pangs are coming, you know, we're, we're living in the birth pangs. And as the due date gets closer and closer and closer to the birth, the birth pangs get worse and worse and worse. So every generation actually has it worse than the last. But that's because it's supposed to be that way. Because we're in the, right. the womb of the universe, basically, you know, we're waiting for that birth. Yeah, yeah. The um, the, um, the 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 move though to to uh, like I was saying is I was just suffering from it uh, a second ago was where I felt like I was burning up time, even though I'm trying to do you know research and some thoughts. Is that yeah, everything's trying to capture our attention, and you're right. Everything in the world is trying to tell you that death is not coming. You can actually prolong it and fight against it from everything to working out to going on vacations because it seems like those vacations uh, make your life more real and experience it in another way. Mm -hmm. So then they keep you, like you say, they keep you on the, um, they keep you in the rat race, right? In the hamster wheel and you keep going. Next thing you know, you look back and 10 years you've burned up because you're like, well, wait a minute, this whole time I've been, I've been focused on how to prolong or how to ignore what's inevitable and that's the question where do we go what happens mm -hmm. and everybody's just trying to hide and run from it they just, they're just doing it in different ways you know and men do it in different ways than women but all in all that's that's the game that's saying is like yes stop asking deep questions stop trying to answer the real questions of this world to focus on this stuff over here, focus yeah, on right. that stuff over there. Like go to go to work five That's days all. a week, have beers on the weekend, and then repeat. You know, <laughs> just continue that. Yeah, that. see you back on Monday. 
Yeah. And mm -hmm. don't ever talk well, about God. Don't talk about who God is. Don't talk about where we came from, the nature of the universe. Um, because then mm -hmm. you might actually establish who God is. And you might actually figure out, wait, oh, is it Jesus? You know, and then you might actually cultivate that relationship. Um, well, you might have to deal with what Jesus says. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, because yeah, Jesus is where it's that, or is that If you're looking, <clears throat> most men pride themselves on looking for truth. Mm -hmm. So they'll say things like, well, yeah, you know, I only want what's true. And I'm like, okay, well, then in order for you to find out what's true, you have to investigate what the claims are mm -hmm. of religions. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what are you going to come to? You're going to come to a religion that's going to tell you something that you've never heard. There's no God. Nobody but Jesus says these claim, makes these claims about himself. And there's no God that directly says, I have these things in my possession and I will give them to you. And no God says that if you don't accept this free gift, this is what awaits you. There's no, there's nothing like it. Everybody walks around thinking that there is, thinking that Islam, Judaism, you know, Hinduism, that it all goes to the same place and it says the same yeah. message. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. That's that can be further from the truth. So then you're going to have to deal with what Jesus said, and Jesus is making these claims about himself, and he says certain things about you personally. Mm -hmm. You say he doesn't know me. Well, if he doesn't know you, I'm pretty sure you're going to read the Bible and you're going to identify with somebody within it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're going to say, that's like me. Yeah. Well, then he's speaking to you. And if he's speaking to you, he's telling you these are the claims that you got to deal with. So you're going to have to deal with what Jesus says, like it or not, whether today or on your deathbed. Mm -hmm. But you will deal with exactly. those claims. And I'm telling you, investigate them now and deal with them now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that you can be honest if you're in search for truth and just go ahead and table those if you don't believe them or refute them. Yeah. yeah. Say, ah, can't be true. And that's mm -hmm. what a real man does. It's a real man seeking for truth. And isn't that what Jesus says in Revelation 3.16? He says, I'd rather you be cold or hot, you know? I'd ra He's literally saying, I'd rather you just say outright, I don't believe in, 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 in you, you know, than just li live in this nebulous, vague bubble where you're not in, you're not out, you're a little wishy-washy, you don't want to step on people's toes, you know, you just want to you just, you just be nice to people, you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but if you live mm -hmm. like that your whole life, guess what? You get to the finish line, and now it's judgment day. And, okay, well, we didn't get anywhere, did we? Um, and not only that, I'll tell you, the bigger the bigger concern is, of course, for your soul. But guess what? If you're uh, a father, a husband, a worker, mm -hmm. a business owner, a brother, a friend, guess what? They all watched you do the same exactly. mundane yes. sort of so walking through the them. process. Yeah, and their guess that you're, you were a witness to them, mm -hmm. that this life isn't anything to be taken serious in regards to eternity and you didn't take jesus seriously in that effect because you lived life in that way yeah. and you're able to pick up on that it would have been better for you to tie a millstone around your neck and jump in the ocean yeah but like, like give me a moment here. I, I have to uh, use the restroom for a <laughs> sec i'll be right back hold on a sec all right bro you want to mute yourself i've actually never under, I actually never thought about that idea that death doesn't exist. Like, well, I mean, it depends if you be, believe in annihilationism. Uh, who here believes in that? Me. Uh, me. Yeah, my bad. Uh, unworthy and Brother David. It wasn't at you guys. It's a got message from others telling me the same thing. And I was just like, yo, bro, I already know. But I didn't tell you that. Hey, bro. No, I ain't tripping, I ain't hurt my feelings. But hey, I like that that I didn't ever thought about it like that, like what Zero just said. Uh that uh Chris said that there is no such thing as death. Yeah. Well I mean that, is we already lived question. our death. Like if you really that's, think no, about it. It's really that's really an interesting point. Mm hmm Well, yeah. But we'll pull up um verses. Bro, if the matrix really means mother's womb, what if we're all sperm cells fighting to reach the egg? Um, that's an amazing take, brother. I hope you know that you're on YouTube. <laughs>